Almost everyone's had hiccups at one time or another and they'll usually go away on their own within a few minutes, but if they don't, they could become annoying and interfere with eating, talking, and just day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best ways out there to get rid of hiccups and prevent them from returning. So stay tuned till the end. There are two types of hiccups, short bout hiccups that are normal and will go away on their own, and long term hiccups which last for more than 48 hours, sometimes requiring medical attention. People have come up with an endless list of ways to get rid of them, so as far as the studies go out there to evaluate the efficacy, a lot of these tips will be anecdotal, so keep that in mind. Let's first look at what hiccups are and how they're caused. I'll try to make this quick because I know some of you guys might be hiccuping right now and need the tips and tricks ASAP. And there's basically two parts to a hiccup. The first is an involuntary movement of your diaphragm, which is the muscle at the base of your lungs used for breathing. The second part is a quick closing of your vocal cords which causes the hick sound that you make. Hiccups are caused by a number of different reasons that can range from medical conditions causing the diaphragm to spasm to eating too quickly or too much. Eating hot or spicy foods, drinking alcohol or carbonated drinks, becoming bloated, nervousness and excitedness are some causes too. There are others out there too but these seem to be the most common. Sometimes there may not even be an obvious reason if they last longer than 48 hours or they come back too often then let your doctor know right away. Now let's look at how to treat them. Breathe in and hold the breath for about 10 seconds, then breathe out slowly. Repeat this three to four times. Then repeat 20 minutes later if you still have them. You could also breathe into a bag just to make sure to not put the bag over your head. You'd be surprised what people do. This is thought as the way of distracting your body so that it worries about the buildup of CO2 instead and it forgets the need to hiccup. After that, try the Valsalva maneuver in which you pinch your nose, hold your mouth shut, and breathe forcefully out of your nose like you're trying to open up your ears. If that doesn't work, you can also try hugging your knees to your chest and hold that position for two minutes. That's already three tips you should try at first. And if these don't work, next thing we could do involves some eating or drinking. Gargle ice water. If that doesn't work, try sipping on the cold water slowly over time. Then move on to placing a couple of drops of vinegar in your mouth. And if you're still hiccuping by then, and if that doesn't work, take a thin slice of lemon, place it on the tongue, and suck on it like a sweet. I promise I'm not trying to torture you guys. That was another four tips that should help, so seven tips in total so far. And if you're still hiccuping at this point, I got two last tricks that should get the job done. A very effective method which has been tremendous help is to drink water from the opposite side of the cup. Stand up, bend over, and place the mouth on the opposite side of the glass of water that you're drinking from. While bending, tilt the glass away from the body and drink the water as it pours out. This will naturally be a little messy, so definitely prepare for this one. You can thank me later when your hiccuping is gone, by the way. And lastly, stimulate your vagus nerve. How do you even do that? You could actually do this by pulling the tip of your tongue, putting your fingers in your ears, or gently pressing on your eyeballs. Just make sure that your hands are clean when you do this. This disrupts the hiccup chain of events by stimulating the vagus nerve so that it sends signals to the brain telling it to focus on new sensations instead. Sometimes hiccups are caused by an underlying medical condition like acid reflux or good. Treating this can possibly help with hiccups too. Click the video on the upper right hand corner to see my natural remedies on treating GERD. In the end, scientists aren't totally sure why hiccup cures work, but the lesson is that if something works for you, continue doing it each time you get hiccups. Like this video now if you found it useful or helpful in any way. Comment down below what helps you with your hiccups and which tips and tricks that you have for others. Thanks for sticking tuned all the way till the end of the video and as always, see you on the next one.